Hello, I'm Antoinette, and this is my boyfriend, Jay. And in this video, we're going to do the Love and Natural Hair Tag by Miss Alicia James. First question is, what did you think when I decided to go natural? I was really excited. Um, first off, you guys should know a little history. Me and Antoinette have been together for three years and some change. I've known her for about four years, exactly around this time of year is when I met her. We did a volunteer program working with kids, and the first time I met her, she had beautiful braids going down, and I remember, like, I saw this girl, I thought she was African or Caribbean or something, turns out she is both, and I remember seeing her and being like, wow, this girl is very beautiful, and then... A few weeks later, she came up and she did the big chop and she had a little afro poof and she looked, she, she was just beaming with energy also. She had just gotten a nose ring and she was really excited about some changes going on in her life. There she is rocking it. And uh, I don't know, I, I was excited for her. Um, she, she just had an energy about her and she, I, I knew that these changes meant a lot to her also. So I really, I liked it when she went natural. I supported it fully. We weren't dating at the time or anything. But I, there was also, you know, I was really into a little, a lot of the political movements. And, you know, I know it's a stereotype to think that all natural hair women are political. Um, I knew she was Africana Studies at the time also um, when she was getting her undergrad degree. And there was definitely an appeal to that also. Um, based on the fact that I am a guy who will go on a lot of rants on a lot of political things. And it turned out it wasn't a, very much a political statement as of her embracing herself and her own natural beauty, which was almost, you know, it was better. That she, there was no big meaning behind it. It was just her embracing herself, which is such a statement there in itself. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that was, there was a, a big appeal when I first met her also towards... Um, I thought she was making a lot of statements that I thought were really beautiful, of. And, uh, and and she still is. I, she, I don't think she thinks too much about it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay, and the second question is, did you like my big chop? Why or why not? Yeah, I, I, well, I just explained it. Um, I did. I saw it as, as you heading in a direction that you were very proud of and excited for. Do you like how my short hair looked? I did. I did. Um, I liked it. I liked the whole evolution as you went through the stages of it and if um, you, you often, every now and then you talk about cutting it and I get upset just because um, you've worked so hard to grow it this long but I, and I really like each one. You've been very creative and come up with a lot more styles than most females out in society can go through and, uh, and you, you worked with whatever the hell you had and you wore it damn well. Thank you baby. Thank you. Uh, the next question is, what is your favorite hairstyle on me? I like this one a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I, I never I don't, wore it before. No, you never wore this before. <laughs> when I, I like a lot of your afro hair. No, um, I like a lot of the your... Puffs. I like your puffs, but I like mohawk ones. I don't know why. They look really cool and badass. And I just wore on the YouTube channel. Badass is legal to say. You can no, say it on TV, so you can say it on YouTube, I think. Yeah, we're leaving this in. I work with kids. We can't say badass. I hope the children are not watching. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like the Mohawk styles. One of the styles that really I, I remember you see, seeing you with right at the beginning was when you had the little afro poof. Mm -hmm. And you were with your little nephew, mm -hmm. uh, Caleb, and you were wearing uh, a Mohawk. really cool Mohawk. Yeah, it was. That I thought it was really hot. Yeah, it was nice. I liked it then. It was so much easier to do. Which is why I want to cut my hair, but I'm probably not going to do that. I'm mostly just complaining. <laughs> oh well. The next question is, what is your least favorite hairstyle on me? I don't like when you straighten it. I don't like when you straighten it too much. Mm -hmm. um, it just looks weird, to be honest. It looks unnatural, which it is. And... Um, it's just not, it's not my favorite. I like the kinky curly, everything about the poof. Mm -hmm. I like, um, all your other creative styles. When you straighten it, I know you're doing it normally just to, to, to see what length you have and, and how much you're it. retaining it, or to cut it, which is another thing. Um, 
I mean, if I one, it, it does look weird, and I, you know, I love natural hair. If I wanted to date someone with straight hair, maybe I'd date. Uh, there's a reason I date uh, you. My hair. Yeah, your hair type. Okay, all right. There you go. <laughs> um, do you like to play in my hair? Why or why not? Yes, I do. I like to play in your hair a lot. I like, I love, uh, you know, a huge benefit of natural hair is the fact that I get to touch your hair. Um, when I let you. When you let me, which is a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, I like touching your hair. I like playing in your hair. I, I think that's huge. Mm -hmm. It's huge. There's a connection to that also. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next question is... Where am I? Okay. What do you like most? about me being natural. Being able to touch your hair. <laughs> I know, I like to be able to touch your hair. That's a huge thing. That's huge um, for you as a boyfriend to be able to touch your, your your girlfriend's hair and to be the one that gets to touch your girlfriend's hair. There's a huge thing with hair. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm a comic dork. I've heard that hair is a woman's cape. Sort of that thing also. You're probably like, whoa, he's getting into comic dweeb stuff now. Um, what else would you do? What do I like? And the thing is, it's your thing also. This is one of your something you take great pride in. What do you hate about me being natural? Nothing. Nothing. There's no negatives to you being natural. Mm -hmm. um, you don't spend that much at it. You are a genius with getting products. She's the queen of free stuff. If you want to learn how to do that, watch her videos. She probably has ones about her going to shows. She will tell you all the advice on how to get free products. I don't have that yet, but maybe in the future. <laughs> in the future, she should make this. She is the queen of free products. Um, I mean, you don't, you spend time doing your hair, but I don't mind, I love reading. And I normally get reading breaks while you're doing your mm -hmm. hair. So that's all cool. And then I get to let you, you appreciate that because I'm considered supportive as I get to read. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm down with that. What else? You don't spend hours at the beauty supply, beauty uh, salon, which is always a bonus. These are all things that you don't do, which I appreciate. Yeah. You don't spend a million dollars at the beauty salon every other week. Hell no. Um, nice cheek, but <laughs> no. <laughs> I can touch your hair. I can touch your hair. I can touch your hair. Let me see. You have five million different hairstyles. These are all the positives. Mm -hmm. Like most people, you know, it's ah, I got straight hair. I'm going to wear it down, I'm going to tie it in a thing on the back, maybe I'll we'll do ponytails today. Most girls can't even rock ponytails, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So you have, I don't know, I see so many more possibilities with you rocking your natural hair mm -hmm. than most people of other hair textures. Okay. Mm -hmm. The last question is, what would you do if I decided to relax my hair? I would support you in it fully. But you wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like it so much. Um, I like your hair as it is. <laughs> I don't think you would like it. I'm not too worried about you relaxing your hair straight. Yeah, anyway, no, my hair is too thin. It wouldn't work. No. It wouldn't work. No. And you love it, and this is your thing, and you take pride in it, and you radiate in it, and no, I would not like it so much. <laughs> but you'd support it anyway. I would support it anyways. That's the good answer. I've liked her in other hairstyles. I like her with braids, too. Yeah, I know. Just so you know. Yeah. But do you like my yarn braids also? I do. I love your yarn braids. Uh-huh. That's right, sisters. Wear your hair whatever kind of way you want. I support you as Jay. Uh, are there any final thoughts you may have about anything? But her hair is better. Than what? What I just said. My hair is better than what? Other people's. I just said I support them and I told, I was empowering the sisters, whether natural, whether you want to put weave in your hair, rock it, wear it. I like mine's. <laughs> Mine. Mine. <laughs> Thank you, baby. So I guess that is it for the love and natural hair tag. Thank you, Miss Alicia James, for coming up with this tag. Please comment below if you have any comments or questions. Um, please rate this video. Thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. And you can also subscribe to Jay's channel, which is all about comic books. Comic books. What's your channel name? Jay Mr. Wonderful. There you go. All right. It's so, better, even if you don't read comic books. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's entertaining either way. 
See you in the next video. <laughs> you just like hit me in the face. <laughs> I'm sensitive. Yeah, you are. Caring. Okay. <laughs>